Hello, my name is William, this is Chicken Wired. This time we are going to put together our little dragon, which is this little fella here, okay? But it's quite basic when he's just the wire piece, but what can be done is we can decorate him up with a little bit of tissue paper, a little bit of uh, creativity and make something a little bit more interesting. So it's a nice little piece from that standpoint. And uh, the little dragon is from the dragon kit, which is this one here. Dragon is quite a tricky one, I must admit. And oops, it's this little fella here. Ooh, there he goes. I hope you can see him okay. Again, got the wrong color t shirt, but never mind. Okay, and the dragon's quite a fun piece because you can add all sorts of bits and pieces to him and uh, add horns and add plates and all sorts of stuff. And we've got, um, my stegosaurus here so on the stegosaurus you can see we've got the plates along the back and we've got the plates on the end of the tail these can be added to the dragon change the wings around make them giant knock yourself out anything is possible okay so over to the dragon beginner piece so let's go through this so if you've got the dragon uh template you can follow this Get to learn the basics so you can make your little dragon and then you've got a lot more skills available for when you go for the big one. So, here's our template. If you've not got any wire or you've not got the kit but you've got a bit of wire, have a note of that. See if you can copy that. Um, the actual pieces, once they cut out, ah, uh, yeah, like these ones here. That's, so, if you can see them, we'll zoom on, in on those in a moment. So, Again, as always, you take your bit of wire, if you've got the template from the kits, and you place the wire over the top. Okay, so you're looking at just one hole coming out of each of the holes in the wire. Try and start in the corners, try so you can use as much of the wire as possible. Always fold the wire away as you're cutting it out, because uh, it makes life a lot easier. All of those are in the instructions, and I've got a, another video that gives those basics. So, let's get on with putting it together. So here are our two pieces of wire that we're gonna to use to make our little dragon. So it's a very simple piece, so it's a simple um, piece. All we need to do is take the smaller piece, place it over the top, so that the two shapes marry up. So you've still got single thread, single piece of wire on the wings and at the tail, but the body and the head all match up. Uh, now what you want to do, as per the instructions, but you haven't got the instructions, what you want to do is concentrate on just doing all the connections down one side to the end, and then down the other side to the end. The mouth area here, we're going to leave blank, and I will show you why in a moment. So, simply put, either with your fingers or with the pliers, we're going to just twist the threads around, give them a nice connection. There we go, make it all nice and neat. And we're going to go down and back. Okay, so there we have it, all nicely connected up all the way around. The only parts that aren't is around the mouth here. Okay, so whilst the dragon is still flat, what we're going to do is open up the head like that. And as we open it up, can you see how the wires want to open up the mouth so that each of these threads wants to connect, wrap around in the other direction to the main join line. So just these two, top and bottom of the mouth, want to connect up, sort of squash the head flat. And we're going to wrap these threads around. Okay, there we are. Those two have been wrapped around. I'm just going to use my pliers just to make it a nice connection. The better the connection, the better you can sculpt. If it's a bad connection, the wire might pull apart and that's a bit of a pain. Okay, so now we can just gently open up the whole of the dragon working our way along the body, thumb along the line of the join, fingers on either side, opening the wire out. We've gone around the whole shape, and then we can just play around with the shape until we're happy. 
get a bit more of a roundedness to the head so that it kind of separates it from the body, bring the body up a bit so you've got a little bit of a kind of a neck look to it. And we play around the wings. What we can do is put our fingers through like that and simply oh, stretch it out a bit. There we go. You'll see. Okay. Now, the reason for this end, for the mouth end, is that we have these four threads right at the end. The idea here is that when you decorate, when you get the tissue paper out and decorate, we can put the different colours all together. So on this one here, we've got a little so yellow, red and orange for a little bit of flame, or you could have um, blue and white and light blue for a, kind of like an ice dragon sort of look. Or the other one which I've seen is green because it was vomiting. So anything can happen in the workshops. But this is the sort of thing you could do to decorate. So you just ball up the tissue paper that's wrapped together like this one into the mouth. And then these four little threads can just fold in. They'll hold the paper in place. And that's the reason why for that one. Okay. So there you have it. There is our little dragon. A very simple but a nice little sculpture to go along with the main masterclass dragon. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, press the notification buttons, spread the word, all these sort of things. I look forward to the next video. Bye bye for now.